Shankland's the one for me. I think Lauren Shankland, I, I, I personally, I hope he stays at Hearts. Hearts have made him an offer. There's been no concrete bid from anywhere. Um, but I, I really would like to see him stay at Hearts. Yeah, I think the, the advantage that Hearts have got at the minute is the Euros. I think he's he's looking at that and thinking I can I can get I can be in the team in the Euros. You know, Dykes, you know, Shea Adams, you know, they're not playing particularly well down south and not scoring a lot of goals. He's flying. He's maybe thinking if I stay at Hearts, you know, I can get into that team in the Euros. Um, if I go to a, if I go to a Rangers or a club in England that I'm going to play, I'm going to drift out the, out the setup. So it's probably his last big move. I think he's 28, 29. I think this is his last big move. Um, but if, if Hearts are, you know, Hearts are supposedly pushing the boat right out, you know, the biggest, highest offer in, you know, in a decade. So that's going to be, I think he's going to be 10 grand plus he's getting offered at Hearts. So whether he's, he's quite happy to see his career out with Hearts, I think the Hearts supporters would, would be delighted with that. But, I think if Rangers came in and, and did put a bid in, I think it would be a, a difficult one for him to turn down. I think he's he's a Rangers supporter and I think that would be difficult for him to turn down if Rangers come in and his head could get turned. Yeah.